there will be the intended results, which is really important, and then there's the unintended results. So these are the things that we didn't ahead of time see as affirmations or measurements that what we're doing is working. A frequently asked question that I hear is how are we going to measure results from the leadership coaching? And there isn't a one size fits all answer to it, but there are two types of measurements. There's micro and macro. So if you're looking to improve a very intentional, very particular part of your leadership skills, then we will have micro measurements for that. If you're looking at creating bigger impacts, like I want to build my leadership brand, then we'd be looking at some macro results. And depending on what you need, the results that we measure will be different. There will be the intended results, which is really important. And then there's the unintended results. So these are the things that we didn't ahead of time see as affirmations or measurements that what we're doing is working. But as we go on, we can see that this change has occurred and it relates to what we're aiming for and what you're working towards. You just didn't factor it in as a result in the beginning. And I believe that this balance is the best balance for any kind of leadership coaching, because when you go in to create a change and you solely focus on one thing and one type of result, what can tend to happen is you ignore the emerging results and information. And they're in a kind of coaching or development process. There is always results that emerge that were beyond your foresight or your vision. And so what I like to do is we create an area of planned results and then we create an area of emerging results. And we leave room in that emerging results to measure anything additional that's happening that's a positive contribution to the outcome that you're looking for that didn't happen prior to the intervention that happened. So if you want to think a little bit more about what area of leadership you need to focus on, you can pop over to my free leadership development assessment, which is based on the systemic hierarchy of leadership needs and you'll figure out which area you need to focus on to be able to figure out where to focus and where to get the kind of results you're looking for. One of the biggest mistakes we, we do in leadership coaching or development is we think one size fits all and we think when someone says they do leadership development it's one thing they're talking about but they're not. There are layers within leadership development and if you're targeting the wrong layer you don't get a return on investment and you don't get the results you want. You might have learned something new, but they don't necessarily translate into an integrated response within your leadership. Whereas when you know where you need to focus and why you need to focus there and how to measure those results, it's going to be much easier to map out your development, to see the progress and to notice what needs attention further rather than blindly focusing on one thing and ignoring all of the other components that may contribute or take from the overall result you're aiming for. So pop over, do the leadership development assessment and let me know how you get on.